Hey guys, today we're going to take a look at the Project Star version 1 which was uh, first called as the World OS and now it has renamed to Project Star version 1 and it's a new project and in this video I'm going to review the same so uh, let's start without wasting more time So guys we get the Oreo Beta 4 uh, TouchWiz Launcher Home you can see the transparent uh, uh, search bar here and also when you enter the settings we get the quick open notification panel so we can just uh, swipe down and notification panel opens when you take a look at it draw it's for it's fully debloated we get a game tuner too but it's really debloated we don't have some extra stuff like the samsung notes the emails app and all other stuff you can just download it afterwards so many people download some alternative email apps so for them it's really good and many other apps are also alternative views so that's great now let's move into settings uh, and into the advanced features uh, we get the app lock the caller ID, spam protection we get the dual messenger which is already there and audio uh, video enhancer which plays a really important role if the viewer the video uh, to be really awesome like uh, in j 726 it's a 720p so video quality is not that bad but the viewing experience will be uh, good after you enable the video enhancer so guys one thing i forgot to tell you about the display quality so first time when you install the rom you get the bad display quality like it will be blurry it will be on hd so just switch it to wq hd not the fhd just apply it now the screen will be really like the sharpness will be greater so just again switch to HD and now you can use it peacefully so don't switch to full HD it will become really uh, like useless only then you need to install the ROM again now into the device maintenance we get the performance mode so you can set it according to gaming entertainment and high performance mode so it's according to you what you're using and what you're not now in the display and in the edge screen many of the people were asking about the edge lighting uh, like how I got the rainbow light so here it is edge lighting style and effect you can choose glitter or this thing also so glitter is good I think it works and you can manage the app notifications so all the messages which you will get you will have the glitter effect on your home screen and it will not be available when you have the locked screen it will only available when you have a turned on screen we also do have the multi user mode so you can just give it to anybody and if they want to spy on your personal data just uh, enable the multi user mode just switch to guest and then give them so your personal data will be safe and guys that's it for the video and this is a really awesome rom fully deep bloated so if you want you can uh, install this guys uh, uh, we don't have the native blur maybe okay we have the native blur also so it's really awesome and we need to do into settings if you want the edge panels so just disable and enable them so it will be now looking so you can now adjust them and guys that's it for the video if you guys really like this video press the like button and if not the dislike button and yes like button also i have not shown and also subscribe for more videos and yes uh, the installation it's really easy flash to 3 twrp recovery and nothing else so goodbye guys i'll see in the next one bye bye